Have you ever wanted to go back in time to see how people lived, see how people spoke and experience different customs? Well, with historical fiction, you can. Historical fiction is when an author takes a different time period, usually quite distant past, more than 10, 15 years or so, uh, and puts a story in there, puts their story there. They're usually really well researched. The best ones are the ones where you can really be immersed in that time period. So uh, most, some authors will use it just as a background to their story because that's where their story fits the best. And this is one of those, Lenny's Book of Everything by... Um, by Karen Foxley. This was written last year, but it's set in 1975. It's about two young uh, people and a family and the struggles they are having in that time. It's really good, but the story it needs to be there, but it, 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 doesn't, um, it doesn't really talk about the time or any particular events. Another book is this, it's called The Nameless City. Now this is set in medieval China and so it's very much similar to the airbender kind of time. Uh, it's really good. It is a graphic novel uh, and it's really interesting. But again, it's just an action story but set in a different time. You also have uh, authors who will use their story to highlight a particular event. For example, The Machine Gunners by Robert Westall is a story of Chas McGill how and he finds uh, a plane and a pilot in the middle of a forest during World War II. Uh, it's really good, looks at um, the way people lived then and looks at the war and that event. Another one that's similar is The Book Thief um, or The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, both highlighting an event using a story. Sometimes you will highlight a particular person as in this one called Jackie French's the Diary of William Shakespeare, Gentleman. So it's looking at Shakespeare as a person. It came out on the anniversary of his death, of his birth, in 400th anniversary. And so uh, it really looks at all his different things and it's in a diary format. So it, it sounds like the author is, the, the writer is William Shakespeare and he is talking to you about his life. Then you get other historical novels that are a bit of a memoir, but they're still a novel because they're not actually the author saying this is my life. One of those is Danny the Champion of the World. Now this was written in 1975 but it's set a little bit earlier, about 1960, maybe a bit earlier than that. And it's the story of Danny and his dad and how they live um, in a gas behind a gas station in a caravan. Uh, and the way they talk about fashions indicates that it's in the 60s not in the 75. It's a great story, you should all read that one. Another one like that is When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit. So this is by Judith Kerr. She was a child refugee during the Second World War and she went to Switzerland, then France, then England. And it's all her stories of that. But she wrote it as an adult. It was published in 1971, which is a long time after the war. And it's not all of her story. It uses her uh, experiences, but the main character's name is in that girl called Anna. And it's about them having to leave Pink Rabbit in their house and Hitler, uh, Hitler's army went through and ransacked it because they were Jewish. Really great book. You should also read this one. And then you've got things that look a little bit like historical fiction but aren't historical fiction. But we might think they are because they're set a long time ago. But they're actually contemporary fiction. They were written at the time. So we've got Pride and Prejudice, which is one of my favourite books set in the Regency area. We've got books like The Wombles, which is actually a fantasy, but it is a product of its time. It's an urban fantasy. It reflects the Wombles living underneath Wimbledon Common in London, uh, and it's a really good book too. And then we've got things set at the turn of the century, Anne of Green Gables and The Secret Garden. Other books that you might recognise are 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and uh, 80, 80, uh, Around the World in 80 Days really good books but a product of their time not a historical novel they're not trying to show you a different time so it's a really good way to learn about a different place and a really good way to just immerse yourself in a different time and a different culture what's your favorite historical novel what are some good ones that you have read leave me a comment bye